In this collection video, Attack of the Clones. Hello and welcome my friends, Darth Rock, back for another collection video. Today, we're going to check out all of my clones. Uh, the commanders, captains, troopers. So, yeah, these guys are just awesome. They're absolutely awesome. No matter, you know, even though they, <coughs> excuse me, look pretty much the same, the colouring and the slight differences between them all just make them all pop out so good. So, um... We're going to go through, check out all of my clones, um, have a wee look at each one, have a wee talk about each one, and um, yeah, check out all of this awesome clone goodness. So I'll clear them away and just sort of, we'll bring them through a look at them in probably no particular order. Right, I will clear the desk and let's get into it. Alright, first up, from the 501st, we've got clone pilot hawk who came in that very nice um package i'm mind blank on that right now but <laughs> really nice figure i got this on clearance really cheap um i don't think too many people were too fussed on this one um as you tell i'm using a backdrop because you won't <laughs> won't see them too well against the white wall there yeah, he's not. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. So we won't spend too long on each. Just a few. So yeah, clone pilot hawk. Okay, that is real cool. The Clone Wars white packets. And a few others I missed. I think it was Echo. I could just never find him. Really like that. But yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty basic. Right, we'll move on to the next one. Might as well do the 501st. Next up, we've got the 501st Trooper and 501st Legion Trooper. And he is so cool. I'm very happy that I've got him. He was actually gifted to me from Middle Age Human Man Collection Star Wars figures. And I appreciate it, my friend, because this figure is real cool. Nice look at him there. See, he poses well. Nice sort of battle, battle wear. Looks really nice on the helmet as well. But yeah, these were cool. These were in the archive collection. So my throat's a bit funny. He looks cool. Really do like this figure a lot. 501st Legion Clone Trooper. Awesome. On to the next one. Next up, we've got the man himself, Captain Rex. And this is the original Captain Rex. And this is the figure that made me... I first only wanted Imperial stuff. That was it. I was happy with that. Until I got him. I thought, I'm going to get him. He looks awesome. I did, and this is still one of my favourite figures to this day. Even for an older figure. He ain't too bad at all. Yeah, I believe there was another version that came out in a nice box. But yeah. Captain Rex is awesome. For those kills. The weathering is just perfect. And he looks right. But yeah, he was original. He was in the box, the red and black box. Red and, is that right? Yeah, it's been a while now. But yeah, he's one of my favourites for sure. So yeah, that's a pretty good sculpt for its time for such an early figure. And if I bring in his comparison, Boba Fett, who is the same, Tamira Morrison. That's pretty good. And this is a newer figure than Boba Fett. That's just cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. Captain Rex. Awesome figure. That's my 501st collection. I've only got the three. So let's bring in our next one. 
Next up, Commander Fox. I'm pretty sure it's Commander Fox. I'm not right up with all of those names and stuff, so f forgive me if I butcher it. Um, but yeah, he's cool as. He's got some great detail on him. I love that red. Pops up real nicely. And just, yeah, the weathering and the logos. and They just look awesome. His helmet doesn't come off. I think only Rex and Wolf do. But he's cool. I love that visor. Yeah, again, the weathering. Just right, just right. He looks cool, I like the look of him. Commander Fox, yeah. He was in the original Red and Blacks. Well, not originals, but the Red and Black ones. Awesome. Commander Fox. Next up, we've got another good one. Cause th and this is in the new boxes and the new moulds and this is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper and he's a love I love the look of that helmet again they're quite basic in the body wise so he's just obviously black and white but yeah that's cool he looks good he looks good and he suits that gun Yes, he is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Awesome, awesome figure. Such great articulation in these new moulds. Alright, not much to look at on him. He looks cool. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got Cody. And he is from the... I got him in the archive line when he came out. So you got to love these archive lines there. Giving us some good figures for people like me that missed out originally. So, yeah, he's good. The only flaw with him is he's, they, they didn't update him with the new moulds and stuff. So he hasn't got the articulation that a lot of these new ones have. But he's pretty cool anyway. And the orange pops out nicely. And this is different on the back. Really cool. All around here. So yeah, they can really make them very different very easily. And we'll buy them all. Yeah, like I said, he's the older moulds. But still, he is great. Commander Cody. I believe it's Commander Cody. I forget. Awesome. Right, onwards. Next up, the Camino Clone Trooper. And he looks, again, like everyone, great. And he is in the new boxes, the new moulds. And he is good looking. I like the grey. The logo on the side as well. But yeah, you can see that the articulation on them is fantastic. I posed them up so well. really do like these new ones. Not that the old ones are terrible, but the articulation on these are way better and they stand a lot better nowadays. Most of them. Yeah, he's cool. Camino Clone Trooper. Right, on to the next one. Next in line, we got Commander Gree, and he is the one who gets his head chopped off by Yoda. But he looks cool. <laughs> yeah, he's got that camo. He's got binoculars as well. He's more of a... I just love that green. And the visor as well. Yeah, really cool. And back as well. Yeah, these clones are awesome. <laughs> Can't deny it. Oh, whatever, it looks cool as. He's got his binoculars as well. 
his rifle. Alrighty. Great. On to the next one, my friends. Next up, we got the Clone Shock Trooper. Pretty sure it's the Clone Shock, tro shock Trooper. Um, yeah, again, new mold, but he's red. <laughs> he looks cool. I like that. So they all just look good in many different ways. And these new moulds just make them so much better. Like I said, for the articulation. It's just, you know, it's not overdone with their colours too. It's, it's just pops quite nicely. There's another good one. They really are. Can't go wrong. All right, I think we've got two more to go. And here we have that Clone Commander Wolf. Another good one. Love that wolf on the side there. And actually, he's grey, he's blending in. <laughs> he looks cool. He's got a removable helmet. We'll check that out in a minute. He looks cool. Not too much, but just enough. The weathering there and the dirt. Again, they're all the same, just the colours, different colours. Yeah, he's nice. I like that. He has a removable helmet. It's been a while. There we go. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Wolf. All right, my friends. Into the last one, and probably my second favourite. Here is my man, Commander Bly. Hey, oh, hey, it's just that he just looks awesome. You can see that right there. Those colours are just perfect. Yeah, I really like him. Definitely one of my favourites. Look at his visor as well. But his colours are so good. He's got a bit of soft goods, which is rare. <laughs> yeah. What a great figure. Love it. Love it. All right, my friends, I will set us up for an end and um, we'll have a chat. I want you to let me know what your favourites are and, yeah, I'll be back. Here we go, all the leaders. Awesome. I love these guys. You can never have too many clones or stormtroopers. <laughs> ah, cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little clone video. I don't know what to call it trying to come up with a cool word there's nothing there um yeah these guys are awesome it's, it was good to check sort of go through and check them out again it's been a while as you can tell with um wolf's helmet it was a little bit a little bit stuck but that's okay um yeah um talk to me in the comments let me know um what your favorites are uh what you do and don't have i realize i'm saying are a lot because there's a few out there, I don't believe I've got all of them. There is other ones. And there's some really cool gaming great ones that have just come out, but they're so expensive here. But yeah, awesome, awesome figures, really are, especially Rex. Rex and Bly will be my top two. Rex, then Bly, 100%. All right, my friends, talk to me in the comments. Let me know your favourites, um, who you do and don't have. And until the next one, my friends, give in to the dark side and may the force be with you all.